I think there's a lot of people excited because is there <laughs> anyone who hasn't dreamed of moving to Italy? The food, the culture, and of course, the romance. But what do you need to know before you do? And is the grass truly greener on the other side? Now, this morning, all of us, in fact, joining us all the way from Carzetta in Italy is South African-born Mishka van der Schaaf and her husband, Giovanni, whose love story comes out of a Hollywood rom-com. You can see them on your screen right now. Good morning. Morning. Morning, guys. Morning. Thank or should we say so ciao? <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's great to be chatting to you guys. Firstly, how are you doing this morning? Well, we are both sleepy. We're not used to waking up and speaking so early. <laughs> 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 Uh, look, well, thank you so much for sh sharing your time with us this morning. Let's dive straight into the conversation. Firstly, why Italy? Out of all the places that you could reside in the world, why choose Italy out of all of them? So, Harvey is Italian, but um, we were living in South Africa for a long time, actually for about a year. And then it wasn't planned. We just took our newborn baby over to meet his in-laws, ah. well, my in-laws, his parents. And then next to happened COVID, so we got... Um, <laughs> We actually got blocked in Italy and we couldn't come back to South Africa. So we made the most of it and we decided to stay. Okay. <laughs> I love that. And, and can you, do you mind sharing with us, Mishka, where you guys met? Uh, we met, we were both living in Doha. I was a flight attendant and he was living there for five years. Uh, six years, yeah? Yeah, six years. So on my on one of my flights, my passenger over here, um, he actually was he was super cute. He wrote me a letter <laughs> and gave it to me on the flight. And that's how we met, like a movie. <laughs> oh, just yes. like a movie. Giovanni, maybe I can chat to you because obviously you've had a bit of a flip when it comes to the experience. You kind of lived uh, in South Africa for a little bit, right? And then uh, you've gone back to uh, Italy now. What's that sort of transition and change been like for you? Obviously, living in South Africa versus Italy, what are some of the big changes that stand out for you? Big differences? <laughs> Look, the, the, the difference, of course, is, is the, the environment is totally different. Uh, both so beautiful places. Both beautiful places, <laughs> but uh, uh, probably South Africa is more welcoming than Italy. Oh. Uh, and uh, the, the main... Uh, what I miss there is the, the weather. You guys have amazing weather compared to, to Europe. It's cold. <laughs> because here, when it's cold, it, it's, it's real cold. Okay, <laughs> okay. And Mishka, for you, what were some of the, in terms of employment, did you struggle to, to, to you know, find work in Italy? Or do you feel like you've now found your feet and you've been able to adjust? What have been some of those challenges that you've had to face? Well, as you can imagine, the language barrier, of course, is one of the biggest challenges. Uh, a lot of us South Africans, we think that when we leave home, the rest of the world knows how to speak English. But in Italy, it's not always mm. the case, especially um, in the smaller cities. If you go to Rome and Milano, you're going to find people there that speak English, right? But we moved to a little town, and uh, I think I'm the only one that speaks English here. So um, I, knew, I knew it was going to be a challenge for me, looking for work. So what I did was I started my own company, and even though I have a degree, a whole UCT degree um, in environmental and geographical science, um, I decided to open up a, a business in beauty because it doesn't require me to speak Italian fluently. Um, you just need to have a basic conversation. Uh, show me what you want to do. Okay, you like show me a picture, you know, and and then that's that. So. Um, I guess I'm kind of smart. <laughs> and I it out. But if I hadn't, I would have been in, in big uh, in so big trouble. Even because you know, Italian in Italy we are famous for for the bureaucracy, which is uh, very complicated. Uh, paperwork, uh, paperwork, especially for for, for foreigners. Uh, for foreigners. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we were just That's having not a chat. Easy, yeah, but connection <laughs> you, got the plug. You, you got the perfect yeah, plug there this is one thing you started obviously not, uh, apart from just the company you started you also started uh, both of you actually started uh, sharing some videos on TikTok. now it's great for i think south africans to see diverse couples to see couples doing things that are not just in our country what is it that you uh, used that platform for initially was it a chance to kind of like reconnect with south africans was it a chance to just share your emotions share what you miss 
Definitely. So um, it was actually like the loneliest time of my life because when we got here, it was COVID, it was lockdown. I was a new mom. I missed home so much, missed my family. And I'm so proud of uh, where I come from. So big family, um, I felt really lonely. And I think TikTok kind of was like a therapy for me. Mm. Um, and uh, it was so nice to connect to, you know, my Mensa. So... Um, <laughs> I forced him in the beginning, show him. but he's such a good sport, and and you actually so good at it as well. So um, we both we both actually enjoy making content now. I think he likes it even more than me because sometimes he'll be like, "Baby, I haven't posted in a while. Let's do something." So it's quite cute because we have fun doing it at the same time as well. It's a cute pup, uh, couple date night thing to do for us as well. Oh, I love that. Thank you so much for joining and for sharing. Um, you know what? It's been incredible to have both of you join us here. And Mishka, when you ever you come back, to, any plans to come for a visit or holiday to South Africa? We travel home often, eh? Huh? Yeah, yeah. She, she travels at least uh, twice. Thrice a year, yeah. I try to join her at least once. So we'll see Cape Town in December, hopefully. Yeah. Nice. Or yeah. well, maybe we could even get you out here on your we'll, couch. We'll come and... to spend, to spend the, the, the summer. The summer yeah. there, so I go in the winter. The winter yeah, yeah. Nice. I love it. <laughs> we'll <laughs> capitalize on our weather. Well, thank you again. Uh, South African uh, uh, wife. <laughs> we can take two summers. All right, all right. Well, we look forward to it. Hopefully, we get an opportunity to chat to you again. But thank you for sharing your experience. Say thank you for sharing what it means to be a South African, being abroad. But it looks like you've definitely got a stallion in your corner supporting you, and I think that makes a world of a difference. But wishing both of you nothing but the best of luck as you are carrying on with your journey and everything else happening abroad. And for you, Mzanzi, I think this is an awesome opportunity to remind you. We want to get a, well, get a conversation going about, are you thinking about moving abroad? Are you wanting to? Do you have any idea? We want to get this conversation started on us social media. Let us know if you are overseas or if you want to be, because we just want to get that conversation going and really see what the vibes are all about. <laughs>